Michael Jeffrey Jordan, also known by his initials MJ, is an American businessman and former professional basketball player. His biography on the official NBA website states, by acclamation, Michael Jordan is the greatest basketball player of all time. He played 15 seasons in the National Basketball Association, winning six NBA championships with the Chicago Bulls. Jordan is the principal owner and chairman of the Charlotte Hornets of the NBA and of 2-3XI Racing in the NASCAR Cup Series. He was integral in popularizing the NBA around the world in the 1980s and 1990s, becoming a global cultural icon in the process. Jordan played college basketball for three seasons under coach Dean Smith with the North Carolina Tar Heels. As a freshman, he was a member of the Tar Heels national championship team in 1982. Jordan joined the Bulls in 1984 as the third overall draft pick, and quickly emerged as a league star entertaining crowds with his prolific scoring while gaining a reputation as one of the game's best defensive players. His leaping ability, demonstrated by performing slam dunks from the free throw line in slam dunk contests, earned him the nicknames Air Jordan and his Airness. Jordan won his first NBA title with the Bulls in 1991, and followed that achievement with titles in 1992 and 1993 securing a three-peat. Jordan abruptly retired from basketball before the 1993-94 NBA season to play minor league baseball but returned to the Bulls in March 1995 and led them to three more championships in 1996, 1997 and 1998, as well as a then-record 72 regular season wins in the 1995-96 NBA season. He retired for the second time in January 1999 but returned for two more NBA seasons from 2001 to 2003 as a member of the Washington Wizards. During the course of his professional career he was also selected to play for the United States national team, winning four gold medals, while also being undefeated. Jordan's individual accolades and accomplishments include six NBA Finals Most Valuable Player Awards, 10 NBA scoring titles, 5 NBA MVP awards, 10 All-NBA First Team designations, 9 All-Defensive First Team honors, 14 NBA All-Star Game selections, 3 NBA All-Star Game MVP awards, 3 NBA steals titles, and the 1988 NBA Defensive Player of the Year award. He holds the NBA records for career regular season scoring average and career playoff scoring average. In 1999, he was named the 20th century's greatest North American athlete by ESPN, and was second to Babe Ruth on the Associated Press list of athletes of the century. Jordan was twice inducted into the Naismith Memorial Basketball Hall of Fame, once in 2009 for his individual career and again in 2010 as part of the 1992 United States men's Olympic basketball team. He became a member of the United States Olympic Hall of Fame in 2009, a member of the North Carolina Sports Hall of Fame in 2010, and an individual member of the FIBA Hall of Fame in 2015 and a Dream Team member in 2017. In 2021, Jordan was named to the NBA 75th anniversary team. Point one of the most effectively marketed athletes of his generation, Jordan is known for his product endorsements. He fueled the success of Nike's Air Jordan sneakers, which were introduced in 1984 and remain popular today. Jordan also starred as himself in the 1996 live action animation hybrid film Space Jam and is the central focus of the Emmy Award winning documentary miniseries The Last Dance. He became part owner and head of basketball operations for the Charlotte Bobcats in 2006, and bought a controlling interest in 2010. In 2016, Jordan became the first billionaire player in NBA history. Also in 2016, President Barack Obama awarded him the Presidential Medal of Freedom. As of 2022, Jordan's net worth is estimated at $1.7 billion. 
Early Life Jordan was born at Cumberland Hospital in Fort Greene, Brooklyn, New York City, on February 17, 1963, the son of bank employee Dolores and equipment supervisor James R. Jordan Sr. In 1968, he moved with his family to Wilmington, North Carolina. Jordan attended Emsley A. Laney High School in Wilmington, where he highlighted his athletic career by playing basketball, baseball, and football. He tried out for the basketball varsity team during his sophomore year, at 5 feet 11 inches, he was deemed too short to play at that level. His taller friend Harvest Leroy Smith was the only sophomore to make the team. Motivated to prove his worth, Jordan became the star of Laney's junior varsity team, and tallied some 40 point games. The following summer, he grew four inches and trained rigorously. Upon earning a spot on the varsity roster, Jordan averaged more than 25 points per game over his final two seasons of high school play. As a senior, he was selected to play in the 1981 McDonald's All-American game and scored 30 points, after averaging 27 ppg, 12 rebounds, and 6 assists per game for the season. Jordan was recruited by numerous college basketball programs, including Duke, North Carolina, South Carolina, Syracuse, and Virginia. In 1981, he accepted a basketball scholarship to the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill, where he majored in cultural geography. College Career As a freshman in Coach Dean Smith's team-oriented system, Jordan was named ACC Freshman of the Year after he averaged 13.4 ppg on 53.4% shooting. He made the game-winning jump shot in the 1982 NCAA Championship game against Georgetown, which was led by future NBA rival Patrick Ewing. Jordan later described this shot as the major turning point in his basketball career. During his three seasons with the Tar Heels, he averaged 17.7 ppg on 54.0% shooting, and added 5.0 rpg and 1.8 apg. Jordan was selected by consensus to the NCAA All American first team in both his sophomore and junior seasons. After winning the Naismith and the Wooden College Player of the Year awards in 1984, Jordan left North Carolina one year before his scheduled graduation to enter the 1984 NBA draft. Jordan returned to North Carolina to complete his degree in 1986, when he graduated with a Bachelor of Arts degree in Geography. In 2002, Jordan was named to the ACC 50th Anniversary Men's Basketball Team honoring the 50 greatest players in ACC history. Professional Career Chicago Bulls Early NBA Years Pistons Roadblock First Three-Peat Gambling First Retirement and Stint in Minor League Baseball I'm Back, Return to the NBA Second Three-Peat Second Retirement Washington Wizards On September 25, 2001 Jordan announced his return to the NBA to play for the Washington Wizards, indicating his intention to donate his salary as a player to a relief effort for the victims of the September 11 attacks. In an injury-plagued 2001-02 season, Jordan led the team in scoring, assists, and steals, and was an MVP candidate, as he led the Wizards to a winning record and playoff contention, he would eventually finish 13th in the MVP ballot. After suffering torn cartilage in his right knee, and subsequent knee soreness, the Wizards missed the playoffs, and Jordan's season ended after only 60 games, the fewest he had played in a regular season since playing 17 games after returning from his first retirement during the 1994-95 season. Jordan started 53 of his 60 games for the season, averaging 24.3 ppg. 5.4 APG and 6.0 RPG, and shooting 41.9% from the field in his 53 starts. His last seven appearances were in a reserve role, in which he averaged just over 20 minutes per game. 
The Wizards finished the season with a 37-45 record, an 18-game improvement. Playing in his 14th and final NBA All-Star game in 2003, Jordan passed Kareem Abdul-Jabbar as the all-time leading scorer in All-Star game history, a record since broken by Kobe Bryant and LeBron James. That year, Jordan was the only Washington player to play in all 82 games, starting in 67 of them, and coming from off the bench in 15. He averaged 20.0 ppg, 6.1 rpg, 3.8 assists, and 1.5 spg per game. He also shot 45% from the field, and 82% from the free throw line. Even though he turned 40 during the season, he scored 20 or more points 42 times, 30 or more points 9 times, and 40 or more points 3 times. On February 21, 2003, Jordan became the first 40-year-old to tally 43 points in an NBA game. During his stint with the Wizards, all of Jordan's home games at the MCI Center were sold out and the Wizards were the second most watched team in the NBA, averaging 20,172 fans a game at home and 19,311 on the road. Jordan's final two seasons did not result in a playoff appearance for the Wizards, and he was often unsatisfied with the play of those around him. At several points, he openly criticized his teammates to the media, citing their lack of focus and intensity, notably that of Quaim Brown, the number one draft pick in the 2001 NBA draft. Final Retirement National Team Career Jordan made his debut for the U.S. national basketball team at the 1983 Pan American Games in Caracas, Venezuela. He led the team in scoring with 17.3 ppg as the U.S., coached by Jack Hartman, won the gold medal in the competition. A year later, he won another gold medal in the 1984 Summer Olympics. The 1984 U.S. team was coached by Bob Knight and featured players such as Patrick Ewing, Sam Perkins, Chris Mullen, Steve Alford, and Wayman Tisdale. Jordan led the team in scoring, averaging 17.1 ppg for the tournament. In 1992, Jordan was a member of the star studded squad that was dubbed the Dream Team, which included Larry Bird and Magic Johnson. The team went on to win two gold medals the first one in the 1992 Tournament of the Americas, and the second one in the 1992 Summer Olympics. He was the only player to start all eight games in the Olympics, averaged 14.9 ppg, and finished second on the team in scoring. Jordan was undefeated in the four tournaments he played for the United States national team, winning all 30 games he took part in. Player Profile Jordan was a shooting guard who could also play as a small forward, the position he would primarily play during his second return to professional basketball with the Washington Wizards, and as a point guard. Jordan was known throughout his career as a strong clutch performer. With the Bulls, he decided 25 games with field goals or free throws Indiana the last 30 seconds, including two NBA Finals games and five other playoff contests. His competitiveness was visible in his prolific trash talk and well-known work ethic. Jordan often used perceived slights to fuel his performances. Sports writer Wright Thompson described him as a killer, in the Darwinian sense of the word, immediately sensing and attacking someone's weakest spot. As the Bulls organization built the franchise around Jordan, management had to trade away players who were not tough enough to compete with him in practice. To help improve his defense, he spent extra hours studying film of opponents. On offense, he relied more upon instinct and improvisation at game time. Noted as a durable player, Jordan did not miss four or more games while active for a full season from 1986-87 to 2001-02, when he injured his right knee. Of the 15 seasons Jordan was in the NBA, he played all 82 regular season games nine times. 
Jordan has frequently cited David Thompson, Walter Davis, and Jerry West as influences. Confirmed at the start of his career, and possibly later on, Jordan had a special love of the game clause written into his contract, which was unusual at the time, and allowed him to play basketball against anyone at any time, anywhere. Jordan had a versatile offensive game and was capable of aggressively driving to the basket as well as drawing fouls from his opponents at a high rate. His 8,772 free throw attempts are the 11th highest total in NBA history. As his career progressed, Jordan also developed the ability to post up his opponents and score with his trademark fadeaway jump shot, using his leaping ability to avoid block attempts. According to Hubie Brown, this move alone made him nearly unstoppable. Despite media criticism by some as a selfish player early in his career, Jordan was willing to defer to this teammates, with a career average of 5.3 APG and a season high of 8.0 APG. For a guard, Jordan was also a good rebounder, finishing with 6.2 RPG. Defensively, he averaged 2.3 SPG and 0.8 BPG. Three point field goal was not Jordan's strength, especially in his early years. Later on in Jordan's career, he improved his three point shooting, and finished his career with a respectable 32% success rate. His three-point field goal percentages ranged from 35% to 43% in seasons in which he attempted at least 233-pointers between 1989-90 and 1996-97. Jordan's effective field goal percentage was 50%, and he had six seasons with at least 50% shooting, five of which consecutively. He also shot 51% and 50% and 30% and 33% from the three-point range, throughout his first and second retirements, respectively, finishing his Chicago Bulls career with 31.5 points per game on 50.5 FG% percent shooting and his overall career with 49.7 FG% percent shooting. Unlike NBA players often compared to Jordan, such as Kobe Bryant and LeBron James, who had a similar three-point percentage, he did not shoot as many threes as they did, as he did not need to rely on the three-pointer in order to be effective on offense. Three-point shooting was only introduced in 1979 and would not be a more fundamental aspect of the game until the first decades of the 21st century, with the NBA having to briefly shorten the line to incentivize more shots. Jordan's three-point shooting was better selected, resulting in three-point field goals made in important games during the playoffs and the finals, such as hitting six consecutive three-point shots in Game 1 of the 1992 NBA Finals. Jordan shot 37%, 35%, 42%, and 37% in all the seasons he shot over 200 three-pointers, and also shot 38.5%, and 30.2% in the playoffs during his championship runs, improving his shooting even after the three-point line reverted to the original line. In 1988, Jordan was honored with the NBA Defensive Player of the Year and the Most Valuable Player Awards becoming the first NBA player to win both awards in a career let alone season. In addition, he set both seasonal and career records for blocked shots by a guard, and combined this with his ball-thieving ability to become a standout defensive player. He ranks third in NBA history in total steals with 2,514, trailing John Stockton and Jason Kidd. Jerry West often stated that he was more impressed with Jordan's defensive contributions than his offensive ones. Doc Rivers declared Jordan the best superstar defender in the history of the game. Jordan was known to have strong eyesight. Broadcaster Al Michaels said that he was able to read baseball box scores on a 27 inch television clearly from about 50 feet away. During the 2001 NBA Finals, Phil Jackson compared Jordan's dominance to Shaquille O'Neal, stating, 
Michael would get fouled on every play and still have to play through it and just clear himself for shots instead and would rise to that occasion. Legacy Jordan's talent was clear from his first NBA season, by November 1984, he was being compared to Julius Irving. Larry Bird said that rookie Jordan was the best player he ever saw, and that he was one of a kind, and comparable to Wayne Gretzky as an athlete. In his first game in Madison Square Garden against the New York Knicks, Jordan received a near-minute-long standing ovation. After establishing the single-game playoff record of 63 points against the Boston Celtics on April 20, 1986, Bird described him as God disguised as Michael Jordan. Jordan led the NBA in scoring in 10 seasons and tied Wilt Chamberlain's record of seven consecutive scoring titles. He was also a fixture of the NBA All Defensive First Team, making the roster nine times. Jordan also holds the top career regular season and playoff scoring averages of 30.1 and 33.4 ppg, respectively. By 1998, the season of his finals winning shot against the Jazz, he was well known throughout the league as a clutch performer. In the regular season, Jordan was the Bulls' primary threat in the final seconds of a close game and in the playoffs, he would always ask for the ball at crunch time. Jordan's total of 5,987 points in the playoffs is the second highest among NBA career playoff scoring leaders. He retired with 32,292 points in regular season play, placing him fifth on the NBA all-time scoring list behind Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, LeBron James, Karl Malone, and Bryant Dot with five regular season MVPs, six finals MVPs, and three NBA All-Star Game MVPs, Jordan is the most decorated player in NBA history. Jordan finished among the top three in regular season MVP voting ten times. He was named one of the 50 greatest players in NBA history in 1996, and selected to the NBA 75th anniversary team in 2021. Jordan is one of only seven players in history to win an NCAA championship, an NBA championship, and an Olympic gold medal. Since 1976, the year of the ABBA NBA merger, Jordan and Pippen are the only two players to win six NBA finals playing for one team. In the All Star Game fan ballot, Jordan received the most votes nine times, more than any other player. Many of Jordan's contemporaries have said that Jordan is the greatest basketball player of all time. In 1999, an ESPN survey of journalists, athletes, and other sports figures ranked Jordan the greatest North American athlete of the 20th century, above Babe Ruth and Muhammad Ali. Jordan placed second to Ruth in the Associated Press December 1999 list of 20th century athletes. In addition, the Associated Press voted him the greatest basketball player of the 20th century. Jordan has also appeared on the front cover of Sports Illustrated a record 50 times. In the September 1996 issue of Sport, which was the publication's 50th anniversary issue, Jordan was named the greatest athlete of the past 50 years. Jordan's athletic leaping ability, highlighted in his back to back slam dunk contest championships in 1987 and 1988 is credited by many people with having influenced a generation of young players. Several NBA players, including James and Dwayne Wade, have stated that they considered Jordan their role model while they were growing up. In addition, commentators have dubbed a number of next-generation players the next Michael Jordan upon their entry to the NBA, including Penny Hardaway, Grant Hill, Allen Iverson, Bryant, Vince Carter, James, and Wade. Some analysts, such as the ringer's Dan Devine, drew parallels between Jordan's experiment at point guard in the 1988-89 season and the modern NBA, for Devine, it inadvertently foreshadowed the modern game's stylistic shift toward monster usage primary playmakers, such as Russell Westbrook, James Harden, Luca Doni, and James. Don Nelson stated, 
I would have been playing him at point guard the day he showed up as a rookie. Although Jordan was a well-rounded player, his Air Jordan image is also often credited with inadvertently decreasing the jump shooting skills, defense, and fundamentals of young players, a fact Jordan himself has lamented, saying, I think it was the exposure of Michael Jordan, the marketing of Michael Jordan. Everything was marketed towards the things that people wanted to see, which was scoring and dunking. That Michael Jordan still played defense in an all-around game, but it was never really publicized. During his heyday, Jordan did much to increase the status of the game, television ratings increased only during his time in the league. The popularity of the NBA in the U.S. declined after his last title. As late as 2020, NBA Finals television ratings had not returned to the level reached during his last championship winning season. In August 2009, the Naismith Memorial Basketball Hall of Fame in Springfield, Massachusetts, opened a Michael Jordan exhibit that contained items from his college and NBA careers as well as from the 1992 Dream Team. The exhibit also has a batting baseball glove to signify Jordan's short career in the minor league baseball. After Jordan received word of his acceptance into the Hall of Fame, he selected class of 1996 member David Thompson to present him. As Jordan would later explain during his induction speech in September 2009, he was not a fan of the Tar Heels when growing up in North Carolina but greatly admired Thompson, who played for the rival NC State Wolf Pack. In September, he was inducted into the hall with several former Bulls teammates in attendance, including Scottie Pippen, Dennis Rodman, Charles Oakley, Ron Harper, Steve Kerr, and Tony Kuko. Dean Smith and Doug Colling, two of Jordan's former coaches, were also among those present. His emotional reaction during his speech when he began to cry was captured by Associated Press photographer Stefan Savoya and would later go viral on social media as the Crying Jordan Internet meme. In 2016, President Barack Obama honored Jordan with the Presidential Medal of Freedom. In October 2021, Jordan was named to the NBA 75th anniversary team. In September 2022, Jordan's jersey in which he played the opening game of the 1998 NBA Finals was sold for $10.1 million, making it the most expensive game-worn sports memorabilia in history. NBA Career Statistics Regular Season Playoffs Awards and Honors NBA Six-Time NBA Champion 1991, 1992, 1993 1996, 1997, 1998 Six-time NBA Finals MVP 1991, 1992, 1993, 1996, 1997, 1998 Five-time NBA MVP 1988, 1991, 1992, 1996 1998 NBA Defensive Player of the Year 1987-88 NBA Rookie of the Year 1984-85 Ten-time NBA Scoring Leader 1987-1993, 1996-1998 Three-time NBA Steals Leader 1988, 1990, 1993 14-time NBA All-Star 1985-1993, 1996-1998, 2002, 2003. 3-time NBA All-Star Game MVP 1988, 1996, 1998. 10-time All-NBA First Team 1987-1993, 1996-1998. 1-time All-NBA Second Team 1985 9-time NBA All-Defensive First Team 1988-1993, 1996-1998 NBA All-Rookie First Team 1985 2-time NBA Slam Dunk Contest Champion 1987, 
1988. Two-time IBM Award winner 1985, 1989. Named one of the 50 greatest players in NBA history in 1996. Selected on the NBA 75th anniversary team in 2021. Number 23 retired by the Chicago Bulls. Number 23 retired by the Miami Heat USA Basketball Two-time Olympic gold medal winner 1984. 1992. Tournament of the Americas Gold Medal Winner 1992. Pan American Games Gold Medal Winner 1983 NCAA NCAA National Championship 1981-82. ACC Freshman of the Year 1981-82. Two-time Consensus NCAA All-American First Team 1982-83, 1983-84. ACC Men's Basketball Player of the Year 1983-84 Ustway College Player of the Year 1983-84 Naismith College Player of the Year 1983-84 Adolf Rupp Trophy 1983-84 John R. Wooden Award 1983-84 Number 23 Retired by the North Carolina Tar Heels High School McDonald's All-American 1981 Parade All-American First Team 1981HALLS of Femi Twotime Naismith Memorial Basketball Hall of Fame inductee Class of 2009 Individual Class of 2010 as a member of the Dream Team United States Olympic Hall of Fame Class of 2009 North Carolina Sports Hall of Fame Class of 2010 Two-time FIBA Hall of Fame inductee Class of 2015 Individual Class of 2017 as a member of the Dream Team Media Three-time Associated Press Athlete of the Year 1991, 1992, 1993 Sports Illustrated Sports Person of the Year 1991 Ranked number 1 by Slam Magazine's Top 50 Players of All Time Ranked number 1 by ESPN Sports Century's Top North American Athletes of the 20th Century. 10-time Aspy Award winner. 1997 Mark Alianda winner National 2016 Presidential Medal of Freedom State slash local statue inside the United Center. Section of Madison Street in Chicago renamed Michael Jordan Drive 1994. Post-retirement. After his third retirement, Jordan assumed that he would be able to return to his front office position as director of basketball operations with the Wizards. His previous tenure in the Wizards' front office had produced mixed results and may have also influenced the trade of Richard Rip Hamilton for Jerry Stackhouse, although Jordan was not technically director of basketball operations in 2002. On May 7, 2003, Wizards owner Abe Pollin fired Jordan as the team's president of basketball operations. Jordan later stated that he felt betrayed, and that if he had known he would be fired upon retiring, he never would have come back to play for the Wizards. Jordan kept busy over the next few years. He stayed in shape, played golf in celebrity charity tournaments, and spent time with his family in Chicago. He also promoted his Jordan brand clothing line and rode motorcycles. Since 2004, Jordan has owned Michael Jordan Motorsports, a professional closed-course motorcycle road racing team that competed with two Suzukis in the Premier Superbike Championship sanctioned by the American Motorcyclist Association until the end of the 2013 season. Charlotte Bobcats slash Hornets On June 15, 2006, Jordan bought a minority stake in the Charlotte Bobcats, becoming the team's second-largest shareholder behind majority owner Robert L. Johnson. As part of the deal, Jordan took full control over the basketball side of the operation, with the title managing member of basketball operations. Despite Jordan's previous success as an endorser, he has made an effort not to be included in Charlotte's marketing campaigns. A decade earlier, Jordan had made a bid to become part owner of Charlotte's original NBA team, the Charlotte Hornets, 
but talks collapsed when owner George Shin refused to give Jordan complete control of basketball operations. In February 2010, it was reported that Jordan was seeking majority ownership of the Bobcats. As February wore on, it became apparent that Jordan and former Houston Rockets president George Postolos were the leading contenders for ownership of the team. On February 27, the Bobcats announced that Johnson had reached an agreement with Jordan and his group, MJ Basketball Holdings, to buy the team from Johnson pending NBA approval. On March 17, the NBA Board of Governors unanimously approved Jordan's purchase making him the first former player to become the majority owner of an NBA team. It also made him the league's only African-American majority owner. During the 2011 NBA lockout, the New York Times wrote that Jordan led a group of 10 to 14 hardline owners who wanted to cap the player's share of basketball-related income at 50% and as low as 47. Journalists observed that, during the labor dispute in 1998, Jordan had told Washington Wizards then-owner Abe Pollin, if you can't make a profit, you should sell your team. Jason Whitlock of FoxSports.com called Jordan a hypocrite sellout who can easily betray the very people who made him a billionaire global icon for wanting current players to pay for his incompetence. He cited Jordan's executive decisions to draft disappointing players Quaim Brown and Adam Morrison. During the 2011 12 NBA season that was shortened to 66 games by the lockout, the Bobcats posted a 759 record. The team closed out the season with a 23 game losing streak, their .106 winning percentage was the worst in NBA history. Before the next season, Jordan said, I'm not real happy about the record book scenario last year. It's very, very frustrating. During the 2019 NBA offseason, Jordan sold a minority piece of the Hornets to Gabe Plotkin and Daniel Sundheim, retaining the majority of the team for himself, as well as the role of chairman. 2-3XI Racing On September 21, 2020, Jordan and NASCAR driver Denny Hamlin announced they would be fielding a NASCAR team with Bubba Wallace driving, beginning competition in the 2021 season. On October 22, the team's name was confirmed to be 23XI Racing and the team's entry would bear number 23. Personal Life Jordan is the fourth of five children. He has two older brothers, Larry Jordan and James R. Jordan Jr., one older sister, Dolores, and one younger sister, Roslyn. James retired in 2006 as the command sergeant major of the 35th Signal Brigade of the 18 Airborne Corps in the U.S. Army. Jordan's nephew through Larry, Justin Jordan, played NCAA Division I basketball for the UNC Greensboro Spartans and is a scout for the Charlotte Hornets. Jordan married Juanita Vanoy on September 2, 1989 at a little white wedding chapel in Las Vegas, Nevada. They had two sons, Jeffrey and Marcus, and a daughter, Jasmine. The Jordans filed for divorce on January 4, 2002, citing irreconcilable differences, but reconciled shortly thereafter. They again filed for divorce and were granted a final decree of dissolution of marriage on December 29, 2006 commenting that the decision was made mutually and amicably. It is reported that Juanita received a $168 million settlement, making it the largest celebrity divorce settlement on public record at the time. In 1991, Jordan purchased a lot in Highland Park, Illinois, where he planned to build a 56,000-square-foot mansion. It was completed in 1995. He listed the mansion for sale in 2012. He also owns homes in North Carolina and Jupiter Island, Florida. His two sons attended Loyola Academy, a private Catholic school in Wilmette, Illinois. Jeffrey graduated in 2007 and played his first collegiate basketball game for the University of Illinois on November 11, 2007. After two seasons, 
he left the Illinois basketball team in 2009. He later rejoined the team for a third season, then received a release to transfer to the University of Central Florida, where Marcus was attending. Marcus transferred to Whitney Young High School after his sophomore year at Loyola Academy and graduated in 2009. He began attending UCF in the fall of 2009, and played three seasons of basketball for the school. On July 21, 2006, a judge in Cook County, Illinois, determined that Jordan did not owe his alleged former lover Carlin a full $5 million in a breach of contract claim. Jordan had allegedly paid Niffle $250,000 to keep their relationship a secret. Niffle claimed Jordan promised her $5 million for remaining silent and agreeing not to file a paternity suit after Niffle learned she was pregnant in 1991, a DNA test showed Jordan was not the father of the child. Jordan proposed to his longtime girlfriend, Cuban-American model Yvette Prito, on Christmas 2011, and they were married on April 27, 2013, at Bethesda by the Sea Episcopal Church. It was announced on November 30, 2013, that the two were expecting their first child together. On February 11, 2014, Preto gave birth to identical twin daughters named Victoria and Isabel. In 2019, Jordan became a grandfather when his daughter Jasmine gave birth to a son, whose father is professional basketball player Rakim Christmas. Media figure and business interests Endorsements Jordan is one of the most marketed sports figures in history. He has been a major spokesman for such brands as Nike, Coca-Cola, Chevrolet, Gatorade, McDonald's, Ballpark Franks, Rayovac, Wheaties, Haynes, and MCI. Jordan has had a long relationship with Gatorade, appearing in over 20 commercials for the company since 1991, including the Be Like Mike commercials in which a song was sung by children wishing to be like Jordan. Nike created a signature shoe for Jordan, called the Air Jordan, in 1984. One of Jordan's more popular commercials for the shoe involved Spike Lee playing the part of Mars Blackman. In the commercials, Lee, as Blackman, attempted to find the source of Jordan's abilities and became convinced that it's gotta be the shoes. The hype and demand for the shoes even brought on a spate of shoe jackings where people were robbed of their sneakers at gunpoint. Subsequently, Nike spun off the Jordan line into its own division named the Jordan brand. The company features an impressive list of athletes and celebrities as endorsers. The brand has also sponsored college sports programs such as those of North Carolina, UCLA, California, Oklahoma, Florida, Georgetown, and Marquette. Jordan also has been associated with the Looney Tunes cartoon characters. A Nike commercial shown during 1992 Super Bowl XXVI featured Jordan and Bugs Bunny playing basketball. The Super Bowl commercial inspired the 1996 live-action-slash-animated film Space Jam, which starred Jordan and Bugs in a fictional story set during the former's first retirement from basketball. They have subsequently appeared together in several commercials for MCI. Jordan also made an appearance in the music video for Michael Jackson's Jam. Since 2008, Jordan's yearly income from the endorsements is estimated to be over $40 million. In addition, when Jordan's power at the ticket gates was at its highest point, the Bulls regularly sold out both their home and road games. Due to this, Jordan set records in player salary by signing annual contracts worth in excess of $30 million US dollars per season. An academic study found that Jordan's first NBA comeback resulted in an increase in the market capitalization of his client firms of more than $1 billion. Most of Jordan's endorsement deals, including his first deal with Nike, were engineered by his agent, David Falk. Jordan has described Falk as the best at what he does and that marketing-wise, he's great. He's the one who came up with the concept of Air Jordan. Business Ventures In June 2010, 
Jordan was ranked by Forbes as the 20th most powerful celebrity in the world with $55 million earned between June 2009 and June 2010. According to Forbes, Jordan brand generates $1 billion in sales for Nike. In June 2014, Jordan was named the first NBA player to become a billionaire, after he increased his stake in the Charlotte Hornets from 80% to 89.5%. On January 20, 2015, Jordan was honored with the Charlotte Business Journal's Business Person of the Year for 2014. In 2017, he became a part owner of the Miami Marlins of Major League Baseball. Forbes designated Jordan as the athlete with the highest career earnings in 2017. From his Jordan brand income and endorsements, Jordan's 2015 income was an estimated $110 million, the most of any retired athlete. As of 2022, his net worth is estimated at $1.7 billion by Forbes making him the sixth richest African American, behind Robert F. Smith, David Stewart, Oprah Winfrey, Kanye West, and Rihanna. Jordan CEO owns an automotive group which bears his name. The company has a Nissan dealership in Durham, North Carolina, acquired in 1990, and formerly had a Lincoln Mercury dealership from 1995 until its closure in June 2009. The company also owned a Nissan franchise in Glen Burnie, Maryland. The restaurant industry is another business interest of Jordan's. Restaurants he has owned include a steakhouse in New York City's Grand Central Terminal, among others, that restaurant closed in 2018. Jordan is the majority investor in a golf course, Grove XXIII, under construction in Hope Sound. Florida. In September 2020, Jordan became an investor and advisor for DraftKings. Philanthropy From 2001 to 2014, Jordan hosted an annual golf tournament, the Michael Jordan Celebrity Invitational, that raised money for various charities. In 2006, Jordan and his wife Juanita pledged $5 million to Chicago's Hales Franciscan High School. The Jordan brand has made donations to Habitat for Humanity and a Louisiana branch of the Boys and Girls Clubs of America. The Make a Wish Foundation named Jordan its Chief Wish Ambassador in 2008. In 2013, he granted his 200th wish for the organization. As of 2019, he has raised more than $5 million for the Make a Wish Foundation. In 2015, Jordan donated a settlement of undisclosed size from a lawsuit against supermarkets that had used his name without permission to 23 different Chicago charities. In 2017, Jordan funded two Novant Health Michael Jordan Family Clinics in Charlotte, North Carolina, by giving $7 million, the biggest donation he had made at the time. In 2018, after Hurricane Florence damaged parts of North Carolina, including his former hometown of Wilmington, Jordan donated $2 million to relief efforts. He gave $1 million to aid the Bahamas' recovery following Hurricane Dorian in 2019. On June 5, 2020, in the wake of the protests following the murder of George Floyd, Jordan and his brand announced in a joint statement that they would be donating $100 million over the next 10 years to organizations dedicated to ensuring racial equality, social justice and greater access to education. In February 2021, Jordan funded two Novant Health Michael Jordan Family Clinics in New Hanover County, North Carolina, by giving $10 million. Film and Television Jordan played himself in the 1996 comedy film Space Jam. The film received mixed reviews, but it was a box office success, making $230 million worldwide, and earned more than $1 billion through merchandise sales. In 2000, Jordan was the subject of an IMAX documentary about his career with the Chicago Bulls, especially the 1998 NBA playoffs entitled Michael Jordan to the Max. Two decades later, 
the same period of Jordan's life was covered in much greater and more personal detail by the Emmy Award-winning The Last Dance, a ten-part TV documentary which debuted on ESPN in April and May 2020. The Last Dance relied heavily on about 500 hours of candid film of Jordan's and his teammates' off-court activities which an NBA entertainment crew had shot over the course of the 1997-98 NBA season for use in a documentary. The project was delayed for many years because Jordan had not yet given his permission for the footage to be used. He was interviewed at three homes associated with the production and did not want cameras in his home or on his plane as according to director Jason Heher there are certain aspects of his life that he wants to keep private. Jordan granted rapper Travis Scott permission to film a music video for his single franchise at his home in Highland Park, Illinois. Jordan appeared in the 2022 miniseries The Captain, which follows the life and career of Derek Jeter. Books Jordan has authored several books focusing on his life, basketball career, and world view. Rare Air, Michael on Michael, with Mark Vansill and Walter Ioas. I Can't Accept Not Trying, Michael Jordan on the Pursuit of Excellence, with Mark Vansill and Sandro Miller. For the Love of the Game, My Story, with Mark Vansill. Driven from Within, with Mark Vansill. See also Forbes List of the World's Highest Paid Athletes List of athletes who came out of retirement. List of NBA teams by single season win percentage. Michael Jordan's Restaurant. Michael Jordan, Chaos in the Windy City. Michael Jordan in Flight. NBA 2K11. NBA 2K12. Notes.